that worked. And now my lights aren't even on. I've definitely been doing YouTube for three years. Hello and welcome back to my channel. It is Sweet Sailor Sketches. You love the voice crack. And today I'm going to be opening some art supplies that was sent to me by Artix. Artix sent me these products to review. And all opinions are my own thoughts. They did not tell me what to say. They just were like, hey, make a video. And I'm like, sure. So let's open it. Da, 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 da. I'm super excited about these because if you do not know, which you don't know because you haven't seen my sketchbook in a while, I have been slaying with paint markers. This is exactly what I needed. Whoever said that they don't trust me with scissors. You're right. You're right. Ooh, God, I love this packaging. It comes with 30 colors, which is a lot of goddamn colors. Oh my god. So let's just unyeath the box. Oh my god, I'm so excited. <sighs> no way. These are stickers. I also really love stickers. This is what my sketchbook looks like. So yes, I do really love stickers at the moment. I'm gonna take these stickers off and then like put them in my sketchbook. And then I'm gonna take the paint markers and then in like the corner or something, I'm gonna swatch them. As much as I do love how they gave us like pre already swatched things, most of the time when you get markers of any kind, they do not 100% match the swatch or the cap. Yeah, let's let's go do that. Oh my god, that feels so cool. Because that was so painstakingly hard to watch, I know, I know, I will be doing the little corner swatchings off camera just for your sanity. Also, before I forget to mention this, these markers are brush chip. In terms of Posca versus Artix, these are kind of already like a step and a half ahead. Apologies for the extremely close-up shot, but I have a few things to mention about some of these colors. First of all, I love their range of pastels, although I do notice that the pastels that they do have are a little bit less opaque. I've noticed that 47, 40, 36, 38, and 95 are the most opaque colors that they have, and that they do have some really nice skin tones, including 50, 51, 53, 15, and maybe 02. I don't really know yet. It might be a little bit too pale. I do recommend that if you get these markers, swatch them because these two colors are completely different. These two colors are completely different. Blah, blah, blah. And that's to be expected. That's what happens with most markers. And uh, one thing that I'd like to mention about the black is that it did not act like the other markers did. I don't know if the black is a different formula. The other colors laid down like acrylic paint. Plaint? Yeah. The other colors laid down like acrylic paint, but this one laid down like a regular alcohol-based marker, which is not what's supposed to happen because look at the other colors. Like, look how much area you can cover with this brush nib. Like, you can go from doing this to that. Like, that's crazy. Already from this first color lay down, I can tell that the Artix markers lay down a lot flatter. If you look really closely onto these Posca markers, you can tell that there's a little bit of speckling, if that's the right word for it. I don't know if that's just because that pink is a very light color but I just prefer the way that the Artix markers lay down. Mm, 
the teals are actually pretty close. Now, I'm not gonna know exactly how they perform until I'm using them, you know, in an actual piece, so I'm just gonna use my past knowledge of using Poscas and use these artist Artix markers to tell you what I think about them, so let's go. Just for shits and gigs, I just want to see if I can go over this blue. And I might actually ruin this marker, but... I just don't want it to be blue anymore. Doesn't look like it's transferring onto the brush. Maybe a little bit, but not too much. Also, I did not mention that there is no bleed through. This is the other side of the page. For You can't really see exactly. For both markers, there's no bleed through. That's always something that I want and something that I'm gonna be using in my sketchbook regularly. This is going to be easier than I thought. For now, I've changed my mind and just we're going to be using my sketchbook as a coloring book like I've never been in it before. You'll never guess who just recorded 20 minutes of voiceover, ruined their voice, had to type up another script, and ended up ruining their voice another time just to come back the next day and ruin their voice again. Here we are, this is my channel, and you're subscribed. <laughs> Anyways, Artix is a company that I came to know because of their alcohol markers and more specifically by the reviews that have been done by my friends. When I looked into the other supplies that Artix had to offer, I saw that they had acrylic markers and I honestly was kind of confused because I had never really heard of acrylic markers before and I didn't really understand how you could put acrylic paint into a marker and make it still usable. I honestly was like a little skeptical of these markers but then I used them for the first time and it was like the gates of heaven opened and instead of rest I unlocked a new hyperfixation which is one of the reasons you're gonna see me color five or six or honestly I don't even know. These colors lay down so flatly it's almost like kind of unbelievable because for the most part you don't have to layer too much to get a smooth effect. It's like just kind of like a little dream marker of mine. One thing I briefly touched on when I was swatching is that there's little to no speckling as I like to call it. Yeah, I don't really know what other word to call it. With these markers and I think it has something to do with the fact that these markers are water-based. In a way their main goal is kind of to emulate what it is like to paint with acrylic paint but without the mess of painting. As much as I just love the colors with these markers I'm honestly just most impressed about the brush tip. This tip is like my favorite. Like, I, I love how long it is, and then the base is very strong, but the very tip of it is like really small, which makes it awesome for covering a large surface area, but also being able to do small details like final highlights with the lighter colors. These markers are the juiciest thing known to mankind, and oh my god. Even the colors that I have used multiple times have not shown any sign of drying out at all, which is amazing because I don't want to have to go buy a completely other set just because I ran out of the skin. I use the skin the most because I mostly only draw people because I'm lazy. One thing that I've been doing in my recent sketchbooks is going back into my sketchbook, and what I mean by that is like- It's basically this entire video. I have sketches that I have made weeks or even months in the past, and I'm going back into it and finishing them. The fact that these markers do not bleed through to the other side of the paper is like a saving grace. I just, I can't believe, I love it, I, oh my god. I would typically want to go back with like my alcohol markers because alcohol markers are the things I'm best with traditionally, but I can't do that because if I did that then it would bleed onto the other side of the page or maybe even past the other side of the page and ruin multiple pages. I just don't want to have to worry about that. But with the little dude in the headphones, I drew that literally way back when I got this sketchbook on Christmas, so like it's literally months old, but I still was able to finish it, which is awesome. These markers dry so fast that while it can be a little bit annoying, it is also really practical. It is also really practical because if you don't know, I already am kind of destroying my sketchbook, it's kind of falling apart, and having a painting dry for two or more hours with my sketchbook just wide open on my table can really affect the spine of my book. And it's already kind of in a crippling state. So being able to have the ability to close my book literally seconds after I put the marker on my paper can be, you know, a little annoying because it does prevent me from being able to do gradients. But it also prevents me from actually murdering my sketchbook, so I love that. I was able to make some really fun things in this video that I never thought I was going to be able to finish. Like, there are some sketches in my notebook that I know that I'm probably never going to be able to go back into and color them or whatever. Which is fine, I can't have every single thing in my sketchbook be colored. If you look back at my past sketchbooks, 90% 
90% of my sketchbooks are not colored, it's just sketches. But with this sketchbook, I really wanted to try and color as much as I could since it's such a small sketchbook, I thought it would be kind of, you know, like easily attainable. And for the most part it is, but I don't want to have everything being colored because then nothing's gonna stand out, so. I also really like how these markers are not like directly marketed towards kids because when you know that they are at least a little good, a student grade, or even like maybe a professional grade, you know that it's not something made for kids to just craft something and then eventually eat it. Why do kids eat everything? Why do kids eat paper? If you're thinking about getting a new art supply that won't bleed through the other side of your sketchbook paper, but you have no idea what to try, please, I recommend giving these a shot because they're so cool and this is my new like supply hyperfixation. I like right before I go to bed, I can just color something in my book. It's my own freaking coloring book. And it's a cool coloring book. It's the coolest coloring book I've ever seen. But if Artix doesn't end up sending me the other set to review in the future, which is totally okay if they don't, but like I am 100% contemplating just buying the other set. I love them and I will use the two cents left in my bank account to do so. I go through watercolor pencils being my hyperfixation, gouache being my hyperfixation, and now this is number one because this is so fun. But Artix, I would love to review another one because this is the most fun I've had with a video in forever. But I just love being able to go back in my sketchbook and not have to worry about the alcohol markers bleeding through the other side because I'm not using alcohol markers. I'm using acrylic paint markers by Artix. If I just used my alcohol markers despite them bleeding through to the other side, it would be a crime. It is crime. And wow, I'm just realizing that I haven't talked at all about any of the pieces in this video. So I'm gonna do that before this video ends. The first coloring that I did, which was a long time ago, but I still need to address something of it. I love the way that the skin was super smooth. It was just a little bit too yellow in my opinion, but it's, it's still really cool. The second coloring that I did was a sketch that I literally did again on when I first got this sketchbook in December. So I was able to go back to something that was really old and finish it, which is awesome. The third drawing that I did was an OC of mine and her name is Bonnie. And I know I haven't been working on my comic lately. I'm sorry, I've just had so many things going on that I genuinely have not been able to do stuff. Uh, LOL. And they had the perfect colors for my OC. The fourth drawing that I did was something that I have been planning on going back in with my gouache, but I never really got around to it. I always envisioned that I was gonna color it in with a very, very light purple, which they didn't have a really, really super light purple, but this purple still works and I still really like it. The fifth drawing that I colored was something Thing that I did in my Hello Kitty notebook that was probably around September or October. And I liked it so much that I decided to just tape it in my sketchbook. And while I really do like that sketch, I've improved a little bit since September to October. So being able to fix almost everything about the facial proportions in that drawing was amazing because I could just cover it up. Because it's just, I love these markers so much. They're so opaque and they're so wonderful and you should get some. The sixth drawing is something that I made a little while ago after taking the soldier poet king test. And I honestly expected to get king and it like makes sense for the description that's provided underneath like after you take the test. I really liked this drawing. I knew the second that I finished drawing it that I would have to color it one day and that day is today. I love this one so much. It's my favorite one of the whole video. I have a love for drawing creepy smiles, hence my OC agony. And like a bunch of OCs that you haven't seen yet. This was just another level of just teeth. I love drawing teeth. I did struggle with picking out the colors for this because I wanted to have a red cloak, but then I realized that it would blend too much with my red pants. And then I decided to put like mud or something at the bottom, but eventually I was just like, screw it. And I put like blue on the top of the cloak and kind of wanted it to have like fade from like blue to like red to have that muddy part on the bottom. And I don't really know how I feel about it. I, I just, I feel neutral about it, but I like am so obsessed with the other parts of the piece that I'm like, I don't care, this is my favorite. I feel like whenever I'm drawing my persona, it's always like the most crazy expressions and it's super fun. I've only ever done it traditionally, like with my thumbnails. Like with my latest video I did with Naniru, that thumbnail is just one of my favorite drawings that I've ever done of myself. And drawing myself silly is so fun. And I feel like this one's like a little bit more serious, a little crazy moment and I'm kind of living for it, except I'm not crazy. You know I'm not crazy. Shut up. <laughs> Thank you so much for sending these to me, Artix. This is just like, I haven't had this much fun with a video in so long. It feels like I was able to just do what I wanted and I didn't have to like make anything that was super duper like complicated. So if you haven't already, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Do it in that order, cause that's how I said it. Stick to the outro and there will also be bloopers because oh my God, I can't speak. You know I can't speak. What were you expecting?
All right, everyone, this is how the art turned out. There are many, many paintings that I did in this sketchbook, and oh my god, you guys are getting a little mini sketchbook tour. Shout out to Sage for that amazing sketchbook tour. Oh my god. Oh my god. But yeah, I have so many other really cool pages in this sketchbook that I think that you all are going to love seeing. If you want to see them, <gasps> you have to tell me that you want a sketchbook tour because I'm almost done with the sketchbook. You know what to do. Thank you so much to Artix for sending these to me. I had such a fun time. Like, I, I, was, I was literally freaking out when I was doing the voiceover earlier. But yeah, I also colored this with a combination of my alcohol markers and Vine Artix markers. And uh, this is Oro Artists OC on Instagram. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I've been doing so much digital art lately that going to traditional just feels so nostalgic. So traditional videos are a little bit easier to make for me, and I don't know why. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Stick for the bloopers, and I will see you guys next week. Live with this in your nightmares. I love you. See you guys next time. Bye. Not alcohol. Oh my god. I briefly meant... Fuck. They're really that mentally gone. <laughs> the most memorable memories, which makes total sense. I know how to grammar. I just couldn't think of a word. Shut up. I could tell she was just like... Wow, my child is painting on their bed. If the set is $28 and there are 30 markers, if we math this math, that's less than a dollar per marker. I've definitely done algebra and geometry, even though geometry is shapes. I'm not a person. What am I talking about? <laughs> Can you tell that I'm fangular? I can't talk. I love you. <laughs> I, like, what? Oh my god, talking. I am genuinely freaking out. <laughs>